Okay, everybody, welcome to Advent 2020. Maybe it's a couple of days late, according to some of my Twitch viewers. But, by the accordance of Mr. Lego himself, we are now able to open day number one of the Lego Harry Potter Advent Calendar. This year it seems to be a Yule Ball theme. I'm assuming to go with the big Yule Ball set that I may have been released this year. I don't know. I purchased this this year. Maybe that's what Lego runs by. Day one is here. Usually day one's up in the top left corner, I thought, but maybe not. We are going to give it an open, and we are presumably going to pull out a figure, and it is going to be Harry Potter. That, I believe, could have been predicted by all of us. We'll give him the old slicey dicey. And drop him out onto the table. We are going with short legs. They are short flexi legs because Lego has realized the error of their ways and has now produced flexi legs for all their short figures. He comes with an absolute buttload of wands. More wands than any wizard could possibly need. Except maybe four arms Mackenzie. Uh, he also comes with a copy of a Yule Ball Invitation. We want to have a gander at that. Oh my god, so pretty. And what appears to be a little tiny table. A little tiny table for little tiny Harry Potter. With a single candle. It's certainly a thing that exists. Whether it should or not is a question. There's a look at Harry. Uh, the hair piece seems to be slightly different from what usually is Harry's hair. Uh, so that's cool. I know it's the year four long variety, but even then it appears to be a different mold. And it's a different, I think, from the... No, it's not. It's the exact same. But maybe shinier. In fact, it's the exact same figure. God damn it, Lego. 